Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about Feistel decoding. I'm making this video because I received a few messages from you requesting that I make a video about decoding as a response to my encoding video. If you haven't seen that one, I'm going to leave a link in the description and you can go and view that, that one first. In this example, I'm going to use the same data from the previous one. So it's going to have a good continuation in case you want to watch one after another. So you can understand, of course, how to do the encoding and the decoding as well. So to start off uh, with uh, this example, I'm going to use the same plain text like in the previous video, okay, like the, the encoding one. So in the plain text, we had a um, a string of 12 bits and we decided to split them into two, so into two parts. We're going to split them into left part that has six bits and the right part that has six bits as well. And then we will have applied the function or some sort of algorithm to this plain text and then it will turn into the encoded text. The encoded text it will have also 12 bits and to continue this video we have to also split this one into two parts. Six bits in the left side and six bits in the right side. Now the steps to do the decoding are like it follows. So I've written them down here. In step one we have to start with the encoded result. Okay, so the encoded result we have it here. So we're gonna start with that one. We have one zero 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 one and then zero zero one zero one zero so we have to split it into two we have six bits on each side so this is l1 and this is r1 so this is step one step one we've done it and then in step two we have to come to R0, so we have to somehow obtain R0. And if we look at the definition here, it says R0 is supposed to take the value of L1. Okay, so here we're supposed to have, oops, here we're supposed to have six bits as well, and this is gonna be R0. Okay, and on the left hand side, we're supposed to have l0 and it says that r0 so in here we have to put the values that we get from l1 and in our case it's 1 0 0 0 0 1 okay and then l0 so this one here is supposed to take r1 so we have our r1 which one is um, the value for this one well it's here so we have r1 which is 0 0 1 0 1 0 okay and we have to do the xor okay so we're here this is the value of this is the value of r1 okay which we took it from here and we have to do the XOR with the encrypted R0. What's our R0? So R0 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Do we have 6? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes. And the encrypted R0, if you remember, what was our function? that we needed to apply to this, to, to any of our parts. Well, if you don't remember from the previous video, it was like this. So we had our function or the algorithm was encrypted using some sort of a definition. The definition I was explaining to you in the previous video, that definition will either be given to you by your teacher or your lecturer or you will have to come up with it yourself it will be some sort of a method that can be applied to whatever input okay so in our case 
we had like this. So if we were to have an input that had uh, a size of three bits, we will have to have the output as it follows. So the first, say, not letter, in, in the previous example, I showed you using letters. And in fact, I'm going to do it the same here, A, B, C. So the first letter would go into the second place. So what this means is that if we have an input of three bits, or in this case, three letters, we'll have to have an output of three letters as well. So to apply the function would mean the first letter goes into the second place. So the first one will go here. The second letter will go into the third place here. And then the third letter will go into the first place. Okay, so it's like this. So if we had the plain text ABC, then our result will be C A B. Okay. Now the same function that we used in the encoding, of course, we have to apply it to decode the text as well. All right. So if we used this function to encode our plain text, in order to decode our encoded text, we have to use the same function or the same algorithm. Okay. So now in this case, we have to apply this algorithm to our result here, which was R zero. Okay. So in order to do that, we have to do it like this. So we say one, zero, 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 one. Okay. So this is this. We're going to split it into three, okay, because our algorithm was using three steps like the first, the second, and the third. Well, the bits is talking about the bits here. And what we need to do is exactly like I showed you in the example here. So we will have three bits and three bits here. So they will go, the first bit will go, one second, I'm just going to write this as well. So the first bit will go into the second place. So the first bit will go into the second place. The second bit will go into the third place and the last bit will go into the first place. Okay. Obviously we're splitting this one. We have split it into two parts as well. Okay. Because we only have three steps that we have to apply here. So if we have three steps, and we have a total of six, then we have to split it into two. All right. And now the same algorithm, we apply it to the second part as well. So the first one goes in the middle, the middle one goes to the last and the last one goes to the first. So this means the output will be zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. Okay. So now we're going to take this result. Okay. Which is the encrypted R zero. So this is the encrypted R zero and we take it all the way here. Okay. To XOR it with R one. So we have zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. Okay. Let me just redo this zero, zero. And now if we're going to extort these two, if you remember, if the inputs are the same, then we're going to have a zero. If the inputs are different, then we're going to have a one. So this, these two are the same. So zero and zero are the same. We're going to have the output zero. The inputs here are different. Therefore, we're going to have an output of one. The inputs here are different. We're going to have an input, an output of one different inputs. The one is going to be the output again, a one, and this one is a zero. Okay. 
So L1, okay, so this one here is going to be this, okay, so this thing is going to be replaced by this, okay, because this is our L0, okay, so now if we do, we take this value and we place it here in our L0, so we say 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So this is step two. In order to check whether uh, we have done the encoding and the decoding correctly, we have to check whether this result is identical to this one. Okay, so in the first part we have 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And then in the second part, so in R0, we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. The result is correct indeed. I will make yet another video and hopefully not to, um, I won't leave it too late, but I want to really help you guys to understand a bit better because I as well, I struggled so much understanding this. Like I said, please check the the link in the description. If you haven't seen the encoding video, check that one first and then come and see how decoding is done. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day and please don't forget to subscribe, uh, leave a message. So see you in the next one.